Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create live sales pop-up notification on Shopify. Now, this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial. First thing you need to do, guys, you wanna log into your Shopify. That's the first step. After that, you wanna click on settings at the very bottom left, and you wanna click after that on apps and sales channels. Okay, so next thing you need to do, guys, you wanna click on Shopify App Store in the top right. Okay, so it's going to take you guys to Shopify App Store. Now we just need to, to search here for live sales pop-up notifications. Okay, so there are a lot of apps here that offer free trial, but most of them did like most of them do offer free trial. But the app I like the most, it works best, and all it's uh, it's also it has like it offers like free plan as you can see free plan available so the free plan i believe is going to be enough for most people so just click on the app and download it click on install okay so after guys you download the app you just need to confirm like in the next page just need to click on install like you just need to click on install again and after that it's going to take you guys directly to the app okay so in the next page as you can see here so what you guys need to do as you can see, it has like three different plans here, like the essential plan, like premium plan, and the free plan. Now, you can choose like which one you want. As you can see, the essential plan, the advantage of using it is, as you can see, additional notification designs, like display the same products on product page, remove app branding, prior pro like priority support, as you can see. Uh, cart notification app. Now I'm going to go with the free plan, which offers like here, as you can see, sales notification app, unlimited orders, unlimited notifications. Okay, so what you guys need to do, you want to click here on, um, okay, you want to click on start free, and you want to then enable it. Okay, you are you have to click on this enable app button. Okay, so after you are on this page, what you guys need to do, as you can see, the app is enabled now. You want to click on notifications, okay? Now, after guys, you click on notifications, as you can see, only sales notification is going to be available if, <laughs> um, available on the free plan. But if you choose the essential plan, you will be able to add like cart notification. If someone adds the product to cart, you, you will be able to see the notification just like this. Someone just added... Uh, sunglasses to their cart or whatever product you have on your Shopify store here you can also like uh, add online visitors notification but like it, this requires you guys to uh, upgrade to like essential plan or premium plan as you can see recent visitors notifications product visitors notifications there are a lot of like uh, like uh, option uh, features here but this app only like it requires you guys to upgrade so that's the only problem so the only thing that is available for free here is the sales notification so you want to click on edit and it's going to take you guys to this page okay so what you guys need to do here is you can just customize this okay here as you can see here sales channel i'm going to go with online store here if you scroll down here where it says days, like add days keyword in your preferred language for time ago part. Okay, so I'm going to add here days. So I'm going to everything is English here. Here I'm going to add minutes, seconds, hours. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here and here as you can see the delay, like the delay as you can see the maximum display per page. Like if you want to like display to the customer 10 like, uh, like notifications after they open the page, that's the maximum. That's what I'm going to do here. Now delay between notifications. I'm going to delay like between notifications. I would say like 20 seconds. Okay. Delay between notifications and here display time. Okay. So display time you can just for example four seconds or uh, six seconds. Okay. Depends on what you want. Okay. So after that you want to click here. It says design settings. You can also make sure you click on save first and you want to click on design settings to make some changes to the design. Like select the design here. You can change the design as you can see here. I'm going to change it to this design. I like it the most as you can see here. So you can also change this, uh, the, the place. Okay. You can just tape here, for example, uh, three, and it's going to change uh, the like the notification will change its place here the left and the, the left and the right here if you want to like put the notification in the in the right as you can see or in the left 
and here are the bottom left as you can see if you like the display direction you can just uh, add it in the top left or top right as you want here the animation type you can add slide from the right here are a uh, product uh, image quality I'm going to select large and here what you guys need to do next is as you can see you can also change the display direction as you can see here okay you can also see how it looks on the phone so if you click here on uh, the phone icon here you will be able to see how the notification looks on the phone you can also change here the product name color or message color if you want you can also change the notification background color um, you can also add here custom CSS if you have that now after you are done you want to click on save if you click here on other settings as you can see you can also add the sound like this I hope you heard it uh, if you like the as you can see this is all these sounds are available for free okay so as you can see you can also make some changes for example you can display out of stock products if you want to do that you can also display that um, yeah like that's it if you want to display the same products as you can see display same product or product page this requires you guys to upgrade so it's like you have to upgrade to the essential plan that's the reason why it's hidden here or it's guaranteed so here if you click on exclude first you will have to save your changes if you click on exclude products you can exclude some products you don't want to add notifications sales notification to if you want to do that now i have added now these products i will i want to like uh exclude exclude excluded this this product like the excluded products will be found here as you can see you can just click on add new product and add the new one so that you can exclude it from sales notification okay so that's exactly guys how this works so that's it okay so i hope guys this video helped you if you have any questions let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment just ask me in the comments for any questions you have i reply to every single comment drop a like and see you guys in the next video